just days before the 40-round MLB draft. Some... Everyone has a personality, even a ball player. That personality influences how they respond to their teammates and their coaches.
afternoon baseball here on the show. Big Daddy Williams, a native of Wyoming. Wyoming will be the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. Batting second, the center fielder, Germain. Thank Throw over to first, a dive, but he's back. To the plate now, Jermaine Banks, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. No, that's and out. that misses two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Yeah, and that's a great job of keeping him off balance right there. He sits him down with a very nice hey, off-speed pitch, up. and that has to impress yeah. the scouts in the stands. Most young hurlers depend on spotting their fastballs, but he's showing right there that he has an effective off-speed repertoire as well. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Maybe that's trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. One one. Castillo, base runner at first with one out. Fouled away. Throw over to the bag and the runner back. The one two. A swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. It's on to the bottom of the first. Second inning set to go. And here comes the first baseman, Leon Marlin. Marlin. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No, that man. And too high with the cut fastball. It's one and zero oh now. Late that time for a strike. One and one. Okay, we got no the one one home. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. That's a nice job right there, sitting him down with style. Speaking of which, style that's points it. might not matter in regular me. games, but in a showcase, anything Mario. that can put a shine in your performance can do nothing but improve your chances in the draft, and that's there just what one. that K did for him. Oh, and he's really getting the no better ball. of him Keep now. Back. It's strike two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Peter Miles goes down for out number two in the top half. Fernando Elez is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. No, that's up. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hit oh, down oh, the line oh. at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half. Now at the plate, Floyd Shelley. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. He's set and the pitch. That's Fastball one. taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, plays at one now. 
Big swing at the knuckle curve. Oh Gets two. nothing but air. 0-2 oh now. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. At the plate, David Bush, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Hey, let's go right here. Behind 0-2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. And he's putting on a heck of a show for these scouts right now. When you're getting easy grounders and lazy pop-ups like that, you know that hitters just can't get good swings on the ball. He's got great movement, and the results speak for themselves. From what I can tell, the scouts are eating this up. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Randy State gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Seven four, the final finish today. The Central Prospects came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Isaiah Clark takes home the win. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. Afternoon baseball here on the show. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead. Terry Romer, a right-hander from the Keystone State, gets the ball as the starter in this one. And please, Zach, what do you got? Hey, Matt, we're going to have a chance to look at a guy that throws, I call it a sweeper. It's kind of a big, it's a hybrid between a slider and a curveball. It's a big sweeping breaking ball. And if he has a good one, you'll see lots of swings and misses early on. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Next will be the designated hitter, Kurt Tau. He'll get to take his first cuts here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Perez calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Into the box, Johnny Carver as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. hitter Sean Castro he'll start us out here in the home half of the second there's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field going back is the right fielder gone well the pitcher is never really happy to give up a long ball but at least it's a solo shot most pitchers can overcome a solo home run but he's got to make sure he stops the bleeding right here it's about damage control at this point the 1-0 
two balls, two strikes. Fouled off. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Yeah, it looked like he had a little something extra after he gave up the home run to that previous batter. No scout wants to see a young pitcher give up a bomb, but they want to see how a guy responds afterwards. He showed some real grit there, setting down the next man he faced. For an office people, like to see that tough mental makeup. And that's the second out. Digging in, Dirk Riddick. First pitch coming, here it is. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss, one and one. Hey, come on now. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Now the 2-1. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through for a hit. At the plate now, Daniel Tripp. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Hey, put him away here. Put him away. Now a pickoff play at second. Runner back safely. Here's the 0-2. Oh Got him looking, and that ends the inning. It's a run on two hits. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Dan Milligan. He drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Hit hard on the ground a second. He's got it. And there's one down now. Ready for another chance. Ray Colon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Looked like that one tied him up a bit. A swing and a miss. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. One down, one down. The pitch. Towards second. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in for his second at bat, Kurt Tao. He flew Look, out in his last at bat. Kurt. Here's the first Tau. pitch to him. Nope. That's inside. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Nope. Runs outside, okay. so it goes to 2 and 0 oh now. Guys. A 2 to 1 score here as we play inning number three. One, Sent one, on the one. ground out to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Your Randy Staten enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but for pitchers, not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 13 to 11, the final score here. The West put up an incredible 20 hits on the board in this one. Randy Staten is the winning pitch. With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. Welcome back to the Major League Baseball first year player draft. The first pick is officially on the clock. With the first pick, the Detroit Tigers select Big Daddy Williams. 
a starting pitcher from the West Region. After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. While being selected is a major milestone, new draftees still face long odds of ever making it to the big leagues. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Erie Sea Wolves and the Bowie. Reed Love will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, hey this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice oh, options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Nope. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. One a little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one-two. Three 
chases him. A strikeout looking. Stepping into the box, Cedric Mullins. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Owen won the count. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Back-to-back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone, pounding the zone. And he takes strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here to open the home first, two away. So striding in, Jim Whitley. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. One and O oh the count. one now. And he takes a cold strike one. Two out, nobody on. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. So now to the plate, Ryan Ripke, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Whitley, the runner at first with two gone. Still a ball and two strikes. Here's a look over to first. Back in standing. He's set and the one two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Martini is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Standing in, Chaz McCormick. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Martini has it, and it's a quick out number one. At the plate, Ryland Bannon. He'll get to take his Batting first cuts six. here. The second baseman. And he Boy takes man. a cold strike. 0 and 1. Bannon. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. A swinging now, strike, and now it's 0 and 2. 0 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. One out, nobody hey, on. Out right here. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Stepping up to the plate, Martin Cervenka. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Cervenka. Two down now. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. Ball one. Oh, that's up there. There's a one here. Hey! The set and the two and one pitch. Hey! Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Good eye Hold to down. lay off the knuckle Branded. curve that time, and he makes it a full count. Heading out towards shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Into the box now, Jomar Reyes. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. The 1-1. One -one. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Chris Escalona. And they'll need him to get something going here. Good pitch there. Called a strike on the inside corner. 
And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch lofted in the air out toward right center. Woodrow moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Digging in to try it again. Malkin Canelo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. One ball no strikes the count. The 1 0 home. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control one and, one and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Cedric Mullins will be next. And he misses ball four. Riding in now once back. again, Cedric Number Mullins. 0 for 1 here in the early oh, going. Hey, Reaches out, but he can't get it. It's nothing in one. Hit hard back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's 1 for 2 now. The throw to third, and he's hey, safe. He needs to throw. Jim Whitley as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one and he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun and he watches one miss outside 2 and 0 now has to be a challenge pitch coming up here he probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases three and oh now this is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor three and one And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan Ripken. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there, strike one. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Just way too patient in this situation. With the bases loaded like this, this is your chance to be the hero. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball and two strikes. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. The double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the kick. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Leading off the inning, Chaz McCormick, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Now a ball softly hit and fouled off to the left, strike one. 0-1, oh here it comes. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Coming to the plate now, Ryland Bannon. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see 
if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. Woodrow is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Ready now, Martin Cervenka. A base hit in his first trip. And he takes ball one. Hey, two outs here, two outs. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. A bouncer to the left side, scooped up. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Into the box now, Joe Reyes. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Stepping in, Chris Escalona. He flew out in his last at-bat. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Malkin Canelo is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's no in ball. trouble now, 0-2. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a one fastball ball. here that'll wisely lay off, and it's 1-2. and two. Ground ball right side. so frustrating Dero you make a good pitch and you get these guys that can run around and they're fast you think you have an out and all of a sudden it turns into an infield single yeah this is definitely part of his game the ground attack Dan he's a speedster he's going to get a ton of infield singles and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is pitch inside the throw short hop and he's there just before the tag two out here and a runner at second outside three and oh now well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Here we go, guys. Let's go. From the stretch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jim Whitley. The designated hitter. And that's in there for strike one. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. To 1-2 and two now. From the stretch. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Ryan Ripken. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last there's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can coast to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. Nine to three, the final tally here in this one. The Erie Sea Wolves hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Big Daddy Williams earns his first win of the season. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm...
a minor league pitching coach offers advice to a new member of his staff. Thank you. 